All right, so in this video, I'm gonna try to explain you what Nodemon is and why we use it. So first, let me show you the problem that we're trying to solve using Nodemon, and then we'll get to actually using it. So first of all, let me get back to this project we did. What we have here, we basically have this situation when we're trying to create SAS files and generate a CSS file. So the command we were running to do this, it was this parcel build. We have this entry file, which is styles.scss. And then we have our output directory and that goes to our current directory and we have no source maps. So we basically just run this command every time we make a change inside of our styles.scss. Now I'm gonna leave this file alone for a second. Let's just create a separate SAS file so we can actually see what's happening. So it's easier for us to look for changes and actually understand what is happening. Let's just go ahead and create a folder here in our main directory. In this styles directory, I'm gonna make two SAS files. So I'll make a new file here. One will be our main file. And the second one will be a file we'll be using inside of this one. So now I'm just gonna include this file inside of this file. There is no underscore. So that should import this other inside of this. So let's just quickly put a couple of styles in here. And I'm gonna save this and then I'll go here and add another one in this file. So right now what I have in this styles folder, I have this two SAS files and basically this is the main SAS file. And I want to make sure I can now create a CSS file out of these two, right? So again, we have to choose where we're gonna put that final file. So let's just keep this organized. I'm gonna make another folder called this one CSS. Only this one needs to go outside of this. So now I want to basically run my parcel command to take this SAS file and generate CSS in the CSS folder. So to do that, we'll go here and do the same parcel build, only this time our main file is located inside of that styles folder. And the name of the file is main.scss. And the output directory I want for this is that CSS directory. So it's no longer the current one. So we'll do CSS. And I still don't want the source maps and all of this. So if I go ahead and run this, that did what it's supposed to do. So let's go and check out our CSS folder. We have our see, generated CSS file. So what do we do now? Every time we now decide to make a change, for example, to one of these files. So let's say you need another class or you decided to change something here. Now to make this happen inside of the CSS file, you still have to go and rerun that same command all over again. And now if I go back after I run it, it will implement this. But if I just go here and create a style and save this and don't run this command. Now let me change this to something different, H3 or something. So now if I don't run this command here, go to my main CSS, there is no H3 in here. So I have to remember to go back and rerun this that same command so that it runs this thing all over again. And now if I go back and look, now I have H3 with that border and all of that stuff. So the main thing is not what we have in these files. What I'm trying to show you is that every time we make changes to our files, we save the files, we have to go back and rerun this command to actually get those changes in our CSS file. Nodemon can automate this process so that every time I go and make some change to, let's say one of these files, it automatically reruns that command for me so I don't have to type that whole thing all over again and hit enter. 
and it will generate that CSS because it will run the command, right? So let's see how we can accomplish this using Nodemon. So to install Nodemon, as you can see on their website, it's pretty straightforward, npm install, and it's a global installation, Nodemon. So I'll install it globally because that's something we'd want to use in a lot of different places. So there it is. So I'm gonna do a global installation, hit enter, and I probably have to install this as an admin. So I'll just do sudo. Now, if you're on Windows, there is no sudo. So you have to just do the regular command without the sudo. But for this, I'm gonna do this and enter the admin password in this case. And there we have it. Now, Nodemon is installed. So what we can do, we can basically tell it, watch for changes in certain files. And when that change happens, run this command. Now that command could be a command from your terminal or running a certain JavaScript file, maybe from the folder. If you're just working with a regular node project, you could just say run that particular JavaScript file. So what I do, I do nodemon. Now I have to say which files or folders I actually want to watch. So right now, let's say we want to watch this styles folder. So any changes in the styles folder to all of the files, I want to react to those. So I'm gonna do watch and type the name of the folder. Now by default, Nodemon is gonna look for JavaScript files. And I think it's also doing JSON and stuff like that. Let's actually go check their docs and see what are their default extensions. There it is. So by default, it's gonna look for JavaScript, see CoffeeScript, JSON. So those are the extensions it's looking for. For any other type of extensions, so in our case, the file extension is SCSS. Because it's not one of the defaults, we have to say to watch for that file type. So what we do, we do this E and then type the file type we're watching. So in this case, SCSS. Now, if you have multiple types you wanna watch in that folder, you can just comma separate them. You could do SCSS, CSS, something else like this. For us, it's just SCSS for all of them. So I'm gonna just do this. So if you wanted this to run some sort of note file, you could just now point to that file and say app.js and that would look for an app.js file in this current folder to run if there are any changes in the styles folder in one of those files. Or if that file is in a different folder, you would say that folder, let's say that's an SRC folder and then in that folder you have the app.js. You would point basically to that file. But in our case, we want to run a terminal command. So what we do for that, we do this. So this is followed by the command you want to run in quotes. You can use single quotes or double quotes. So if you remember the command I had was that command, if I just scroll up, hopefully I still have it up there. See, this is the command. I'm just gonna copy that and go back and paste it right between those quotes. So that's the terminal command I want to run when those changes happen. So with this, if I just go ahead and hit enter, see now it starts this and it did the command, it ran it, so I still have whatever I have, but now it's waiting for me to make any changes. So if I go to one of these files, let's say main CSS, and I add another rule. So let's do one for buttons. See, the moment I saved it, it automatically reran this in the background. So if I go to my main CSS right now, I should have that button class in here and it's automatically done. So it ran as soon as I saved the file. Now it should also happen if I do this other SCSS file because we said we're watching for every file with that particular extension. So as soon as I hit save or command S, control S, see that rebuilds the whole thing. And now if I just go back, I should have that LI, see right in here. 
Now, you're gonna want to get out of this at some point. So to get out of this, I'm on a Mac right now. I'm gonna press Control C and you wanna press Control, not Command. Control C, see that gets out of this. So now it's not gonna be watching for changes anymore. So now let's try this as usual on Windows and see if it actually works the same way or if we have some crazy problems as usual. So here's our terminal. Let's go ahead and run our installation. So we'll do npm install dash g and nodemon. So seems like we're good. Now let's try to use it. So I'm not gonna go through all the changes I did with a folder and everything. We'll just keep it simple. Let's just try to watch this SCSS file and do the updates in this CSS file. So the command for that was right here. So I do parcel build, I do styles.scss and output directory will be the current folder and no source map that creates this CSS file. So if I run this, that should run the parcel command and it should do what it's supposed to do. Now I want this to auto run every time I make a change in this styles.scss. So now I'm gonna just watch the file, not an entire folder. So again, I'm gonna do nodemon and then I'm gonna say which file or folder we're going to watch. In this case, we're watching the files. So it's called styles dot scss. I shouldn't have to do the extension here because we're not watching a folder. We point to a particular file. So I just have to say which script I want to execute. So I'm just gonna copy this command and put that in quotes right in here and hit enter and let's see what happens. Okay, so build is not recognized. Uh, I didn't copy the whole thing. I don't have parcel in there. So I need to get out of this. So again, I'm gonna try control C. See, it gets me out of this. I have to go back and correct this. This should be parcel build. So this is the kind of thing that happens when you don't know how to copy and paste. See, now that did what it's supposed to do. So if I go to my style CSS, it's this H1, that color red. Let's add something to this. So again, I'm gonna go ahead and do control S to save this. And as you can see, it's already running. And if I go and check my styles CSS, I have the color green for the paragraph. This time, no funny stuff going on with Windows. How crazy is that? So I'm gonna go click in here, do control C. All right, I'm gonna close Windows. So one other thing I wanted to mention in here, remember how I was watching this folder? So when you say to watch a folder styles, it's actually watching the folder and all the subfolders in it. So you could have subfolders inside of the styles folder, it would still watch all the SCSS files. So one last thing I'm gonna mention here is that right now, if you look at this package.json, which was created from the parcel for us. See, this package.json has this dependencies that it did. Let me go ahead and run an npm init for this. So again, go back to terminal and we'll run npm init. I'm just gonna hit enter for all of this. And now you can see that we have a little more stuff here and that basically just creating this rest of the rules for us so we don't have to go and type this. Really, that's what it's doing. But the main thing I want to concentrate on right now is the scripts. So in the script, see, there is this test. What it's basically doing here, here you provide the command you would run in your terminal again. So if I go here and do something like so I'm just gonna copy this part within quotes and paste it right in here. That copy paste didn't go very well, but we can fix that. So I'm gonna rename this, make CSS. So now let's first of all, save this. 
There it is, now it's saved. Now I should be able to run this make CSS, which is really like this command. So it's basically like a shortcut for it by doing npm run and refer to the name of the script. So not M, but N. The name is called make CSS, right? So if I do this, hit enter. See that ran that same parcel build, basically this command. So we basically made a shortcut to this parcel build command and you could have different shortcuts here. So I could go here and do another script. And here I'm gonna go get the command for it. So that was that nodemon, that whole thing we wrote before. I'm gonna copy it. There is gonna be a little problem here because this one has double quotes that are going to be interfering with this double quotes. We'll fix that in a second. So I'm gonna just paste it in here. Now the easiest way to fix this is to just convert this one to a single quote, this inner command, instead of the double ones. And I still need that double quote to close that. Basically that's the same command I had here, only I replaced this double quotes from here to single quotes. And then that whole thing goes here inside of this double quotes. And now I have this watch CSS command. So what that means now is that I should have a shortcut way to run that nodemon by typing npm run and then whatever the command is. So watch CSS. And it says missing script watch CSS. I forgot to save this file. So let's go ahead and save this and rerun this same thing. And now there it is, it runs. Now we have like a shortcut to run that command. So I'm gonna do control C to get out of it. Now you could do this. You could also have nodemon run this. And by this, I mean this make CSS. So one of the things we did before, we had this whole thing that's doing nodemon watch. And we're saying use this styles CSS folder and look for this SCSS files, right? And we say to execute this command that says parcel build styles. Now, instead of doing all of that, we now have a shortcut for that parcel build styles in here. That's called make CSS. So we can do that npm run make CSS. If I run this, see now again, it's doing this, it's watching for any changes in my SCSS files. So if I go here and add something else and save, it should auto run because it's the same thing basically. We just have shortcuts for this. So now it should be inside of my CSS folder, this main CSS file, it should have the hyperlink in there as well. So that's pretty much it. That's how Nodemon works. And hopefully that makes sense. Thanks for watching, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.